a tool for the times. Deep in the Alaskan wilderness lived the last true American pioneers. This isn't just a piece of land on the floor. This is something that represents what America is all about. They live off the grid. Just like same kind of lifestyle up here. It's not for the faint of heart, that's for sure. And this was their life right. It's only for much day from 70s a week, all year round, we don't stop raising. Where you go? Oh, there he is. He's going to get you. Ancient Egypt is one of the most long-lasting civilizations in Egypt is one of the most long-lasting civilizations in history. It was ruled over by the most powerful kings. <laughs> These are statues of real men. Who were they? What were they like? Archaeologists are trying to find out. Samson's tail or monster's tail wagon. It is the icon of the whole world. Who was the man behind the golden He's like, little boy, you know who you're messing with? The Valley of the Kings on the west bank of the Nile. The Valley of the Kings contains 63 tombs. But for centuries, the one belonging to Tutankhamun lay hidden. In 1922, the great explorer and Egyptologist Howard Carter set out to find it. Howard Carter stayed for five years, five seasons, trying to find the tomb. Until one day in the morning, when the workmen began to clean around, they found 15 steps lead to the entrance of the tomb. The tomb descended 30 feet into the limestone rock of the valley. The end of the shaft was blocked. Carter punched a hole. And he saw in this room wonderful things. <laughs> the tomb contained not only the body of the pharaoh, but over 3,000 treasures burning with it. Ever since, the tomb has been a magnet for Egyptologists, examining and analyzing the mummy and its treasures. And now, archaeologists can go deeper than ever. They can see the boy king as he's never lost <laughs> He just ain't giving up. Archaeologists are using modern medical science to study his 3,500-year-old body. CT scans take thousands of x-rays of the body and put them together to produce a 3D image. <laughs> the CT scan is wonderful in really our journalship. You, know, you can actually see it's everything. You can see program. how the skin mm -hmm. died. No, no. When you die, you, you can look at everything. He knows what that means. Yeah. Experts are investigating a mysterious hole in the back of King Tut's head. Could this be the <laughs> that killed him? If you look at these cut, you'll find there is a hole in the back of the head. <laughs> there is a lot of damage to the upper vertebrae, perhaps even the base of the skull, at the frame and magnum the place that connects. The wound is consistent with damage. I don't think Samson realizes attack. he's a little puppy. Make everyone to believe that the golden boy was murdered. <laughs> Oh. A clue might lie in the ancient process of mummification. Mummification is as old as Egypt. No one's very sure how the ancient Egyptians decided to mummify the dead, but presumably oh, because he's the got your rope, monster. naturally dries out people. When animals die and lie in the desert, the Egyptians would have seen those and would see that they were perfectly preserved. Oh, you the first don't thing like that, that the Egyptians did was to really desiccate the body, and they did this by using something called natron. Without natron, <laughs> natron works like sachets of silica gel that are used to keep electronic equipment dry today. Natron's basically a mixture of salt and made of silica, and it does it into two. Away and, and look at this one. And that's what makes money. But certain organs have too much water in them to mummify in this way. I believe the organs do. They do not explode. So the next step is to remove the entire organs from the brain. Hey! You cut off the head, poke it, prod it out, oh, and then leave it empty. So could the head wound in fact be the result of the mummification process? 
the water bottle in there. At the University of Pennsylvania, Janet Monge has been studying the CT scans of King Tut's mother. The damage occurs before the time of death. Jim's gonna have a lot of fun playing with that puppy because you can tell he likes it rough. <laughs> Good boy, monster. He has this nice square chin. 